Okay, welcome everybody, welcome, welcome to Awakening Soul Force Live. Tonight we got a very special Meditation Monday, which I'm super excited to share with you all. And we're going to be doing a shamanic drum journey together, so I'm just going to give it a few minutes to allow folks to pop on. So when you actually make it into the live stream, let me know that you're here. I'm excited to see who joins us tonight for the live shamanic journey. Happy Memorial Day, everybody. Hope some of you had a chance to uh, barbecue a little bit, hang out with some family, some friends, some loved ones. Got in the pool today, so I got a little bit of pool hair going. Hope you all don't mind. Doesn't matter. You're gonna be shamanic journeying, and you're completely gonna forget about everything that happened today, everything that went on. Hi, Grace, welcome. Oksana, hello. Looks like we got our soul, for soul forcers popping in. Good to see you here. I'm gonna give it a few minutes so that everybody has an opportunity to uh, make it into the live stream tonight, and then I'll go over what we're really gonna do. So uh, it's gonna be pretty exciting. Happy Memorial Day to you, Oksana. Yeah, it was beautiful today in California. Sun was shining, got a little workout in the morning. It was lovely, got in the pool, ate some barbecue. It was delicious. So while we're waiting, I wanted to give it a couple minutes because uh, this, I know a lot of people responded to this one, so I know it'll be a little bit before everybody makes it in. I don't want to start the journey too early and have people miss it. If you have any questions, feel free to um, pop, uh, pop them up there, and I would love to answer any questions you have. Uh, and then what we'll do as well to kind of buy ourselves a little more time is whoever's in here makes it in early. We'll just do a quick little grounding meditation together to ensure that we've, we're grounded, we're rooted, create a good, safe, sacred space for this journey tonight. Uh, and then we'll get into the journey in a few minutes. But it looks like the numbers are rapidly jumping up, so we'll give everybody a few more minutes to pop on. Hi, Corinne. Anybody who's popping in, say hello. I would love to know who's here. Oksana would like to know what to expect. Excellent question. Expect the unexpected, Oksana. This is a wild and crazy ride. <laughs> so I say that kind of half-jokingly, <laughs> but it is kind of true. When it comes to these shamanic journeys, one of the most beautiful uh, aspects, and I'll even use the word dimensions of these journeys, is the fact that there can be very unexpected occurrences. Uh, in fact, that's kind of what we're hoping to sort of slip into, you know, a nice, calm and relaxed state of consciousness to allow those kinds of unexpected things to happen. Uh, when it comes to these journeys, what we're going to do tonight, we're going to do actually a drum journey uh, with the intention of uh, going up into the upper world for the purpose of meeting a helping, healing, or guiding spirit. And uh, that experience is gonna be whatever it is for you. Some people, when they go on this journey, when I facilitated this for people uh, live, some people will be met with um, ancestors, uh, grandmothers, grandfathers, people who have crossed over. Sometimes people will have uh, an experience with, um, with another helping, healing spirit, either a guardian spirit, spirit guide, animal guides sometimes, although when we go to the upper world, a lot of times we're meeting with some of our more, uh, our master guides. Hi, Kathy. Welcome. Tab, can we request any songs? <laughs> hey, if you know any songs that can be played with a single uh, Remo bass drum, then have at it, Tab. Hi, Brenda. Welcome. Kathy, I'm really glad you could join today as well. Okay, everybody. So we're a couple minutes in now, and we'll, uh, we're still going to buy some time as I describe this. Uh, as I described the journey tonight and we get into this little meditation, um, Oksana had asked, you know, what to expect and I'll get into that a little bit more deeply uh, bef before we get into the journey. Uh, hi, Maria. Looks like Valerie's on as well. Welcome, everybody. Cool. Got a good group on tonight. So I really wanted to offer up this uh, on Meditation Monday because it's a totally different take uh, on the meditations that we do. And this was actually, I had a profound experience. Uh, a few years ago, about three years ago, I, I took a shamanic journeying workshop through the Shamanic Foundation, which is the late Michael Harner's uh, foundation committed to studying and sharing the wisdom of shamanic tradition uh, here in the West. And um, I, I really had an incredible experience there that allowed me to touch what I will call loving awareness and, uh, and in a vision of myself, uh, my true self, in a way that uh, I described it, I talk about it in the book that I wrote, Awakening Soul Force, uh, but it really was an indescribable experience. Um, it, the Japanese have a word for something that is kind of awe-inspiring. It's beyond words, and it's called yujin. And I, I always say that I feel like um, if, 
that eugen is a word that we don't have in our English language to describe this sort of wonder that I felt when I, when I had this experience. Um, so I'm hoping that for some of you, you might have that kind of experience tonight. Know that whatever uh, experience you have tonight is exactly the uh, experience that you're meant to have, just like when we do any of the other, med any of the other meditations. There's no expectation of what's to come, uh, but there is a world of possibility. And really the way this works is uh, the rhythmic beating of the drum Within about 11 seconds, studies have shown, we start to enter into um, our, the brain waves start to alter and we go from uh, beta, beta waves to alpha waves and we get into a more calm, relaxed state of consciousness. And this altered state of consciousness that is much more relaxed and much more fluid is what allows us to enter into what is called uh, the shamanic state um, or what is also referred to as a non-ordinary reality. So this is the world of dreams and symbols and shapes uh, and the abstract. It's much more fantastical is where our imagination and a lot of our creativity lies. So it can be a really uh, a very rich experience uh, regardless, no matter what happens or what stage you sort of progress through. Um, so I'm really excited to share this with you all. Hi, Shirley. Welcome. Hi, Ren. Oh, man, we got so many people on tonight. I'm excited. Okay, very cool. Now that we have a lot of people here, let's, um, let's just real briefly do a couple. Uh, let's do a couple grounding breaths. Do a couple energy rinses so that we can kind of settle in and get prepared for the journey. So go ahead and close your eyes and just become aware of your breath for a moment. And we're going to take three big uh, energy rinse breaths. We're going to breathe in deeply through the nose, filling ourselves with light. Exhale, release, and just kind of wash anything that's heavy away. Feel it kind of sink into the ground beneath you. Here we go, big deep breath in. Exhale, release. Another one, big deep breath in, filling yourself with light. Exhale, release. One more time, big deep breath in. Exhale, release. I want you to take your awareness to the base of your spine now. And on your next, Inhale, breathe in deeply. Imagine drawing a bright ball of light from the base of your spine. Roll it up the low back, up between your shoulder blades, up the back of your neck to the top of your head. You should feel this little ball of white light dancing atop the crown of your head. On your next exhale, release. Breathe out and roll that ball of light down the back of your neck, down between your shoulder blades, down your spine, all the way to your low back until your awareness is once again drawn to the base of the spine. Take another big deep breath in, inhale. Fuse that ball of white light with the tip of your tailbone. Exhale, release your grounding cord, like a long white extension of the a spinal cord, extending down into the earth, piercing the crust, going down into the dirt, and burrowing all the way down until you feel yourself anchored to the here and now by the weight of the earth's gravitational pull. And just give thanks for this connection to the earth. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes as we've now set ourselves a grounding cord. All right, everybody. Looks like a few more people popped on. So let's go ahead and get into the nitty gritty of what this journey is all about and, and uh, what we're intending to do. So tonight, this, this, drum, this drum journey we're going to go on, we're going to journey into what is called the upper world. And this is basically the realm of spirit and heaven, essentially, depending on what terminology you want to use. And the intention of this journey is to meet with a spirit guide or a helping healing spirit uh, that has information or wisdom for us here on our journey today. And the way this is going to work is it's going to be a pretty free flowing journey once the drum starts. But there's uh, just a, some basic parameters. So I want to set those basic parameters up for you first. So to enter into the journey, once the drum beat starts, you're going to imagine uh, a place that is, feels 100% safe, peaceful, and calm. So for example, I, when I start my journeys into the upper world, I start at my childhood home. And I start at my childhood home because we start in a place that is peaceful, loving, and calm. And what we do is we find a way to then go up into the air and travel up into the atmosphere and then piercing the threshold between uh, basically between heaven and earth, right? It would be like piercing the earth's atmosphere. And that's essentially where our journey into the upper world begins. 
How you go up is up to you, completely up to your imagination, your creativity, whatever you choose for yourself. But you wanna start in a place that is safe, comfortable, and calming for you as this kind of sets the tone and it's kind of what grounds you and, uh, and, and sets the tone for the rest of the journey. So it's a safe space. So when I do these journeys, I start at my childhood home because that's a safe space for me. And then I start to climb one of the trees that I used to love to climb as a kid. And in my imagination, the tree extends all the way up into the heavens and I, and I climb that thing like Jack and the Beanstalk until I reach the, uh, reach the upper world. So usually there's some sort of a crossing of the threshold that happens in the journey. And really what happens after that is completely up to you and your journey, which is one of the best things about uh, the shamanic drum journey that I really appreciate. And the purpose of this and why I'm so attracted to this uh, modality is because it's very free and it also allows you to, to have your own direct experience with this altered state of shamanic consciousness. It allows you to have your own experience, experience with spirit, with loving awareness and whatever transpires for you, whatever happens in this state of mind. There really are no rules. The rules are the rules that you make, the rules that you set. So you do not have to go anywhere you don't want to go. You don't have to interact or engage with any aspect of this shamanic state that you don't want to engage with. This is a completely voluntary exercise. And at any moment, you can return your awareness to the sound of the drum and then trace your steps back from the upper world and down however you came in. So for me, uh, that is back down through the, the long tr you know, the tree that extended up. And I bring myself back to the safe and comfortable place in my childhood home. So if at any moment in the journey you feel uncomfortable, you're more than welcome to just follow that path right back and come back to a safe and grounded place. Uh, this process is also gonna be what uh, returns us from the journey. So we start in a safe and comforting place, we travel upward into the upper world, we have an experience, and then uh, on my cue, which I'm gonna demonstrate for you in a moment, you're then going to return back and you're gonna journey back. We're gonna do about a 15 minute uh, session, about a 15 minute drum journey. And uh, the, the bass rhythm is gonna sound like this. That steady rhythm is gonna play for the duration of the journey. There's one important thing to remember is, uh, is the callback. And this is when the journey is gonna end and it's time for you to return back to the safe and sacred place that you left from. And uh, I'm gonna indicate the callback by doing a drum roll. I'll do that four times, and then the callback is a much faster rhythm. That'll, that'll last approximately a minute, and then I'm gonna wrap up the journey with the drum roll once again. Four more times, and that will complete the journey, okay? So it's a pretty simple practice. As soon as I start the, the drum beat, you're gonna imagine and go to your safe and sacred place, and you're gonna begin your journey upward into the sky, up into the heavens, up into the upper world with the intention to meet a helping healing spirit, a spirit guide that has information and wisdom for you today. As I was saying a little bit earlier, this journey uh, is gonna be exactly what it's meant to be for you and where you're at today. If you fall asleep during the journey, Awesome, that just means that you needed to take a nap and that's what you needed today, all right? If you have this really grand experience, you have this epiphany, this spiritual revelation, amazing, that is exactly what is meant for you today. If all you do is kind of drift in and out of awareness, you're following the drum beat, um, you know, maybe you find yourself thinking about what's going on during the day, but you come back to the drum beat, that's okay too. This is a practice and you always have the ability to return to the drum beat to kind of focus and enjoy the rhythm because there's also healing properties associated with uh, rhythmic drumming. And this has also been proved by science. So if nothing else, just sitting down and listening to this rhythmic drum beat for 15 minutes can be a helping, calming, and relaxing experience for you. All right? So I wanna give just, um, just a minute. If there's any pressing questions that somebody wants to type up there, we're gonna go ahead and leave them up there. If you don't have any questions, I want you to go ahead and uh, just relax now. I would highly recommend lying down putting in earphones or headphones, if you have an opportunity to do that, the experience will be much more, uh, much more satisfying and much more fulfilling if you can clearly uh, hear the resonance of the drum beat. So we'll just give it a minute. It doesn't look like there's any questions coming. So again, just one more time, just so you remember as you stay nice and relaxed now, is we're gonna begin in a place wherever you choose, of your choosing, 
a place that helps you feel safe and comfortable and calm. And then you're going to basically launch from that place however you want to go up and travel upward into the upper world. So wherever you are now, just go ahead and close your eyes. And let's just set this intention from this safe and sacred space that we all share today to enjoy this healing drum journey that is about to commence for the purpose of traveling to the upper world so that we may engage and meet with a helping healing spirit, a spirit guide, a spirit guardian who can shepherd us on our journey through the upper world and share with us information, insight, wisdom, and healing in tonight's offering. Go ahead and turn your breathing. Turn to your breathing. Conscious, become conscious of your breath. Close your eyes. And let's the journey begin.
Mm. <laughs> All righty, folks. So wherever you are all now, uh, I would highly recommend journaling uh, or writing down anything that you experienced tonight. Um, I know I'm starting to run a little low on uh, battery here when it comes to the, the camera. So uh, I'm not going to stay on too much longer here, but definitely write down any experiences you had what the experience was like for you. Um, I'm going to start a thread uh, after this so we can have a discussion about anything that might have happened tonight. Um, that way we don't have to get into it uh, on the live here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Um, I'm going to post a thread in the main page related to the shamanic journey uh, that we shared tonight. And I would love to hear any experiences for those of you who want to share it. So don't pop back into the group right now. Don't type anything up. Uh, journal. For yourself write for yourself right now if you get an opportunity to do that um i really thank you for joining me tonight i'm sorry about the technical difficulty the little glitch that we had there with the uh the transmitter cutting out in the middle of a journey which is a real bummer but hopefully uh, most people got to stick around and participate in the second round so thank you so much for being here tonight i really look forward to hearing about your experiences and what came up for you and we can talk about any of that stuff um via typing and text. Tab asked me if my arm is ready to fall off, and yes, after, uh, after having to stop and start again, um, got a little arm pump going from that session. But thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for being here tonight and for sharing this. I can't wait to hear about your experiences, so I'm gonna pop right off and post a thread that you all can participate in to share your um, journey. So I look forward to hearing from you and how it was for you. Thanks for sharing this space, and uh, we'll talk soon. See you guys later. <laughs>